Radio Rahi with Colin Sowell, and I know this is a tough day. Even though your fighter isn't the one who's in trouble, the fight itself is in trouble. The results coming back on the drug test was relayed to each camp at the same time. Well, I've, I've asked Eddie for his a bit a TikTok. When you received the information, and Chris did, what was the conversation between the two of you? Um, full disclosure. I mean, what am I supposed to say? Sort of like, you know, the, the other guys had a, uh, had a test come back with, uh, as they put it, uh, in the technical terms, an adverse finding um, of traces of a, f a female fertility drug. I said, uh, we looked at the, the details of it. We then saw very quickly um, the most important thing, forget lawyers and forget all the governing bodies and everything, it's a physical fight. And we looked at, is it performance enhancing? Uh, what are his levels in his system of, uh, of, the, of, the, of in this case, testosterone? Uh, because it, it, the, the one thing this can do is, 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 is boost testosterone. In this case, it was a, um, it, the levels weren't abnormal. Um, and, you know, we look at it and once again, we're not medical experts. We're not legal experts in, as such. Um, and this is a totally new area for us. So um, we looked at it and said, um, you know, just basically when it went between the teams that we're still prepared to go. And, and there's only one man who can decide that, you know. You've decided to look at the testosterone levels as you've said they're normal so if that's the big concern are you willing to go against the boxing board of commission and and find a way to do this fight if they don't sanction it um once again you know, on 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 levels uh, i'm not an expert I, can't, I, can't, I can't i wouldn't be able to tell you the first thing about it i can only go on on what i'm what i'm told and we are we're obviously here today we're obviously you know, discussing with the board a, a solution what lawyers are. Um, and that we obviously have uh, plans up our sleeve if, if, if we can't get a solution there. When you say plans up your sleeve, are we talking about a postponement? Or are we talking well, about... The, te the technical term, up your sleeve, should give everything <laughs> away, no? Um, if, I put, if I told you now, it wouldn't be up my sleeve, would it? Uh, but no, but no, yeah, listen, of course, there's, there's, there's talks of it. You know, I've seen some of the rumors. Some of them are correct. Some of them are not correct. There's all the injunction. It's obviously an option. Uh, there's, you know, using another board. Absolutely an option. Um, but those, those are things that I hope don't, they don't come to it. I hope that we, we can find a solution. Or that in this case, we're not even talking to the board. It's the lawyers talking to the lawyers of the board. Um, yeah, that's where we're at. And I know that legally there's only so much you can say. So before I let you go, if I could just turn your attention to the theory and some of the controversy about going on when a fighter is tested positive. Eddie Hearn's been on record many times talking about these fights shouldn't happen. And if you're testing and if someone comes up positive, just scrap the whole thing. Do you agree with that? Or do you think if this is an exception, why? Um, I, look, I, we have to look at the circumstances of it. Um, in general, um, I'm absolutely, totally of that opinion as well. Um, in our case, we've look, we've, we've been given results. Uh, those results, you know, there's there's significant expert opinion which has explained to us um, that it's our decision basically. And uh, this this test, once again, it wasn't the official testing system that was in play. It was a voluntary uh, system which was, you know. For, agreed by both sides. Mm -hmm. um, Chris did those tests as well, um, and that's you know that's really all you can say right now. And we've looked at it, and we're, here we are still. And lastly, as you said, this negotiation for this fight, like most big fights, was very meticulous. The ball is completely in your court now. Are we looking back at the contract? Clearly, there's nothing in the contract that says he can take any right, kind of right, testosterone. Right, Are we going right. to renegotiate the no, weight no, or anything? Just, just a second. He didn't take testosterone. No, no. No. It's, a, it's a, a female fertility drug, which can lead to an increased level of testosterone. But, but, is a, but, but uh, that's not a defense, by the way. But at the same time, we're looking at things. Let's first of all, first of all, our first and foremost part is to actually have the fight on on Saturday night. And we're very confident there. But we've got some work to do. Does this give Eubank some leverage to change the terms of his... Uh, what do you think? I think it gives him leverage. Well, I'm just wondering if he's going to use it. Thank you for the interview, my friend. <laughs> very Take good. Care. Radio Rahim with Sarah.